Okay, this how-to video is going to go through some of the methods to display things like track, via and hole sizes um, inside the Allegro and AllCAD PCB editor tools. So obviously just using the basic hover command, I can hover over any item. Um, what, what I can actually hover over is driven by the find filter, so whatever's enabled here will allow me to kind of hover over certain items. Um, if I hover over a C-line segment, for example, um, I'm going to get effectively the segment uh, name, the etch, the layer it's on, um, the width that the track segment is. I can hit the tab key that would then cycle through the whole connect line on the complete layer. I can tab through again and then get the net and again I'm getting information just based on the data tips. And if we look at um, setup data tip customization, these are the options that you can kind of enable to find out what you would physically see for those um, on that data tip when you're looking at the element. So if we kind of look at a, 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 an individual segment, another method is I can also do a right click show element and then I get a bit more of a, an informative pop up that gives me the detail of what I'm specifically looking at, segment length and, and the thickness and stuff like that. Um, if we then hover over there and then we'll just tab through to the connect line element again and did a, a show element, I'm going to get all the individual, oh, sorry. Let's get the connect line this time and do a show element. I then start to see all of the individual items so I can start to see all the segment points and I can pan my way through looking at the individual segments, looking at the different widths. So in this instance, I've got a slightly thinner part of the trace where it's coming out of the BGA. I've also got the via so I can click on where the via locations are. Um, so if we close that form, if I hover over the via now and then do a show element. Um, I get the VAR information, I get the size, the layer it's going from and to, um, the diameter of the drill hole, which can be really, really useful. If you want more information on the pad stack itself, we can then go and launch Tools, Pad Stack, uh, Modify Design Pad Stack. If we click on the pad and then do a right click edit, we then get Pad Designer, which gives us all the individual pad sizes on the electrical layers, the design layers. We can look at the drill tab to give me the hole information. We can look at the mask layers to look at the solder mask sizes.